My camera of the day is vintage Kodak Brownie Model 3A loaded with hand coated glass dry plates. Size of the plate is 10 by 16 centimeters or roughly 4 by 6.3 inches. Hey guys, welcome. I'm finally on the field again. Super happy. Today my uh, main goal is to find a very special tree that remained in my memory until today. What's so special about it? Um, it's actually already a dead tree, but uh, there are new smaller trees that uh, started growing out of it. So basically it's a symbol of rebirth in some way. To be honest, I don't remember exact location of it. I just know that it's right beside the river. Um, and it's already late afternoon right now, so I will really have to hurry in order to have enough light. So yeah, let's go and find it. Right now I'm gonna cross the bridge over a very deep canyon, which I'm gonna for sure visit in one of my next videos. I'm glad that the snow is frozen underneath, so it's much easier to walk. Last few days have really been stunning here in Slovenia because of the sun and the snow. Just look at those mountains behind there. I don't know if you can hear, but I'm getting closer to the Euro once again. Maybe you can see it right behind there. I just have to get down here. It's never fun walking in this kind of terrain, especially if you have a glass dry plate in the backpack. There is a dead end right there, so I have to turn around and walk on the left side here. Seems like an obstacle course. I'm sorry, guys, but I am just not able to find the tree. I've been walking around for quite a bit, and I'm also losing light at the same time, so. I will have to, I will find a, another motive now um, and return another day to maybe in a bit nicer conditions and uh, try to find that tree. Maybe it got broken by the snow or swept away by, by a flood or something. Or I'm at a totally wrong place, I don't know. Remember that dead end I was showing you earlier? Well, it turned out not to be a dead end after all. Because I continued walking 
up the stream after not tying the tree and uh, look at what I just found so stoked let me turn the camera around this is the tree I was searching for I really have to hurry now so I will set up my camera and uh, try to make a shot I just can't get the pics of the trees in my frame so I've decided to come down the hill and to step much closer to make a more detailed shot of that horizontal tree and the three vertical trees that are growing out so yeah What I really need is an assistant to move my camera around in terms of composition, I'm helping myself with this viewfinder because it turned out to be quite accurate. Remember that the emulsion I'm using is only ISO 2, so my exposure is 40 seconds at f16 and because there's no focusing screen, I need to adjust the focus by measuring the distance, as you can see here. So 30 meters, 8 meters, 5 meters, 3 meters or less. I'm currently somewhere between 5 and 3 meters away from the tree. There you go guys, I press the shutter and uh, fingers crossed that the shot's gonna be okay. I'm gonna fold back the camera now and uh, head back home to develop the plate. Even though it's almost dark and I'm really cold, I just have to say I really love doing this. I would do this every day of my life if I could. Oof. So I have the developer mixed and I can pour it into the into my developing tray.
Okay, so again, developer, water bath, fixer, and this is my final wash bath. I'm gonna take the plate out of the camera now and uh, develop it, of course. I'm sorry about the focus, it's hard to see what you're filming with a taped screen. There you go guys, the plate is now developed. I'm quite pleased with the image. I don't know if you can see, I will remove this one away. Yeah, now it's much better. The exposure is quite good even though there was really really small amount of light left when I pressed the shutter. Maybe we can have a little sneak peek this uh, phone trick yeah I will definitely have to wait for the final thoughts until it's dried and scanned but it looks quite good let's get this baby drying I used to scan my negatives at the academy, but now when everything is closed I have to improvise by using some glass, backlight and a camera. this shot and the message it holds because it truly celebrates the power and beauty of nature. Even though there is a lot going on, I like how the tree has a nice contrast to the background. If I would repeat this shot, I would just leave slightly less room on the right side. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about this image. And uh, I would like to thank you for watching and see you guys next week.